so much gratitude. Shitting bricks for 30 <sighs> days. What is up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing amazing. We are, oh my God, I think it's like week 11 of the training vlog towards the London Marathon and there is six weeks to go. I know I do this every week, but like, holy crap. <laughs> so today is Tuesday and I am picking you up following still being sick. I am still sick. So if you've watched last week's vlog and the vlog before you've seen, I've come down with some cold. I am hopefully on the back end of it, but I still have got this cough that is just absolutely not going away. But we have good news. I had a call yesterday with my coach, Finn, which I mentioned at the end of last week's vlog. And he basically gave me the okay to take it a little bit easier this week. There is a lot of training still programmed for the week, but he did tell me just to take it chill on the pace. So even like my tempo run, he was like, just let's not even worry about that. Like, let's just chill. And the idea is that hopefully by the end of the week, I will be recovered because I have a 30 kilometer run planned for Sunday, which might actually be my longest run of the training block, according to my coach, which I was a bit surprised at. I will get into all of that a little bit later on. So for now, it is Tuesday. I did my very first successful run in like, honestly, about two weeks this morning. I did a 40 minute conversational pace run on the treadmill. Like legitimately, it was so, so slow. But in saying that, I was so happy with it because I kept somewhat of a even though it was a bit of a plod, I kept running or jogging or whatever you want to call it the entire time without stopping. Even though I had a little cough here and there, it didn't hinder me enough that I felt the need to stop. That is the main thing that is super exciting. I was like, I got this rush of serotonin afterwards, so I'm really, really happy with it. The plan of attack for the rest of the week. Monday, I didn't end up doing anything purely because I was coming back from the Gold Coast and it was a bit chaotic. Today, I did my 40 minute conversational pace run. Tomorrow, I'm actually doing something a bit random and out of training and doing an F45 class in the morning. And there is a bit of a story behind that, but I'm not gonna explain it just at this stage, but I'm doing a class in the morning and I'm a bit nervous because I've also seemed to have pulled a muscle from coughing in my ribs. Like, of course I freaking have. But anyway, so I'm a little bit nervous for that because even though I can run sort of okay, I'm a bit nervous to like, do anything Ugh, even that really hurts so i'm a bit nervous to do too many intense movements but i kind of have to do this class and there is a reason for it but i'll explain it at a later time so yeah i do have that in the morning and hopefully that goes okay i'm just gonna take some neurofit and hope i don't do anything too crazy and then what i think i'll have to do is do a run tomorrow afternoon which is not ideal i don't love training afternoon but i gotta do what i gotta do if i'm feeling okay i think i've got an easy 8k run tomorrow which is kind of scary it's actually not that bad when i look at the rest of the week because then friday so thursday i have a rest day friday i have an 11k tempo run but as i just mentioned it's probably not really going to be a tempo run it'll just be like an 11k plod and then sunday we've got the big 30ks the next three weeks of my block are honestly the most intense towards the marathon like this is like peak go 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 time so i really really hope that i just start getting it better and improving over the week and that i'm all okay for sunday 30k run so apparently my coach is umming and ahhing at the moment whether to make to do another longer run after that at the moment this is my biggest distance he's programmed we are potentially gonna be doing a four and a half hour time on feet run in a couple weeks time but it's all kind of up in the air at the moment things might change purely because i have been unwell this is what the plan is looking like at the moment and we do know that yeah the next three weeks are going to be 10 and then it's the taper before the marathon so like whew, it's like crazy it's honestly come around so so quickly as nervous as i am i'm also really really excited like i think it's just gonna be an amazing experience and part of what my coach was saying as to why the 30ks will be the longest and he's not add adding any more he's like that 12k variable which i think is huge he's like there's so much to account for the fact that i'm training in australia in the humidity in the heat the fact that i have had to get up really early to do those runs without having proper digestion this is all these little things that won't be an issue on the day there's so many things that hopefully i've had to push through here that will make it easier on the day not to mention the atmosphere and the vibe of running a marathon and the crowd support i'm honestly just so excited for the experience like i definitely know i'll be nervous but i'm so excited for the experience and it's getting closer and closer and i have an amazing trip planned after it as well so it's gonna be such a great time we're just gonna like brace ourselves for the next few weeks we're gonna push through hope people are gonna be sick i feel like as well i had mentally burnt out a few weeks ago and i feel like i'm past that now mainly because i've been forced to rest from being unwell so i feel like i'm back in the like let's go training mindset which is awesome so i just need to get my head down 
recover and push through these next three weeks. Anyway, I'm gonna head off now. It's actually Tuesday night and I'm gonna go meet my partner and support his social network team while my partner has a broken arm, we're just supporting. Support his social network team and have some dinner and I'll pick you guys up a little bit later. But otherwise, I hope you enjoy this weekly vlog and training with me with six weeks left to go till the marathon. Good morning guys, happy Wednesday, actually good afternoon, it's actually in the afternoon now. I'm gonna catch you up on what has been happening before I head to the gym to do my easy run. Oh, you have already done a lot today. I went to F45 this morning, which was awesome. So they had a triple threat cardio class is what it was called. So it was my first F45 class, which was really, really fun. I didn't overly push it for a number of reasons. Obviously I'm still getting over this little cough and I still have that weird muscle that I think I pulled in my ribs. <laughs> So I didn't push it too hard. It was still intense as it is obviously in a 45 session, but I just didn't push myself too hard. And then I came home and like, don't judge me. I may have had a little nap in my clothes that I've sweated in already today. It was sort of intentional, but sort of not intentional. I was just, I was tired. I came home and I was really like energized and everything after the class. But then as I sat down and kind of like on my phone, I was like, oh, a little bit sleepy. So I kind of had a little bit of a nap and then quickly got up, ran, not ran, I went down the road just to grab a coffee and came back up before I did a podcast recording with Ella. I finished that and now I've just had some water and just been sitting here for the last like half an hour, just kind of mentally preparing for the fact that I need to go do a run. <laughs> I've technically got an 8K easy run on the plan for today. Might just see how I go. I'm not too exhausted from this morning, but like I'm a little tired. Like I am a little tired and I did do a, a hit class, a, a cardio hit class at that this morning. So we'll see how we go. When I come home, I literally just want to do sweet nothing. That's why I keep telling myself, like, just go get this run done now. I've had a little break between class. I can go get this run done now come home. I will need to get the shops and do grocery shopping, but then after all of that, I can come home and just chill for the rest of the afternoon slash evening before I have to go back to work tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Happy Thursday. I am sweating already. It is literally 4.44 in the morning and it is so humid somehow and I'm sweating a lot. I am on my way to work as per usual, the stand-in. Yesterday, I didn't probably pick up the camera enough because I honestly just had the best day. It was one of those days when you just kind of know that the universe, this is, this is gonna sound a bit woo-woo, but like the universe is on your side, like the universe has your back. Things just happened and it was great. <laughs> I will explain that in a little bit more detail probably in next week's vlog, but yeah, it was honestly just so much gratitude after yesterday. So much gratitude. I was meant to do an 8k recovery run yesterday, but I did 6k's instead. But in saying that, it was not stop starty, but I did it as like on and off kilometers. So like I ran every second kilometer and walked every odd kilometer. You know what I mean? Just because I just didn't want to feel like shit today. I didn't want to feel so exhausted from pushing myself yesterday. And I actually woke up feeling good. Like my whoop is in the green. So I'm really happy. I also did something kind of crazy yesterday. I know this is really weird because I put stuff on the internet all the time, but. I shared the podcast to my personal Instagram account. Doing that is that moment of going, okay, people that I know, like people that are close to me, people that I went to high school that I don't particularly like. It's like putting yourself out there for judgment. Does anyone get what I mean? I was just having such a good day yesterday. I was like, you know what? Who cares? I'm trying to preach like who cares what people think. So like, let's take it to the next step. Anyway guys, train is coming now, but I just wanted to share my morning thoughts with you all. My sweaty morning thoughts with you all. Good morning guys, happy Saturday. I am just pulled up, ready to go to work. So I was meant to do, <laughs> I was meant to do an 11k run yesterday. And as you guys know, I'm obviously I haven't been 100% well, but I thought I was getting better. Like I managed to do a solid run on Tuesday and then I took it a little bit easier on the Wednesday because I did the HIIT class in the morning, like the F45 class in the morning. And then not leaving work on Thursday, I was carrying like a heavy bag. I had my laptop with me because often I take my laptop to work. And as I was walking back to the station, I coughed and my entire ribs, like on my right side, just went blah, blah, blah. <laughs> As I mentioned, I did, I think, pull a muscle or something in my ribs whenever it was when I was away in the Gold Coast, but I thought that was also getting better. Like I was still a little bit sore, but it wasn't too bad. So I thought it was improving. And then that just sent it. I literally could not move that afternoon. I was in so much pain. I was like, oh my God, what have I done? So yeah, I woke up on Friday, also still feeling very sore and also incredibly tired. So 
I was like, I don't think I'll be able to run and I'm a bit scared to run and push it, but I'll go and do something. Like I'll do like a little cycle or I'll just even walk. But I was so tired that I went back to sleep and I slept all of yesterday morning before work. I don't know what's going on. It's really not ideal <laughs> this stage of the marathon training, but here we are. I'm basically just like voltaroning and neurofitting and hoping that it sort of improves because I've got the big, big 30Ks tomorrow, which I'm shitting bricks for, particularly with the state that I'm in. Anyway, I spoke to one of the Kairos at work, who's an absolute legend, and I was like, what do I do? I think I've pulled a muscle. And he was literally like, there's not much you can do. Like, get the inflammation down. Voltaren, painkillers, just get the, get the inflammation down. And I was like, I've got to run, particularly on the weekend. And he was like, you can try and tape it. And he showed me the best way to tape it for the pain that I'm experiencing and how to do it and everything. So fingers crossed, I might experiment with that this afternoon. I don't like using um, tape. I always seem to get a reaction to it. I must have an allergy, which I think is quite common. But I'm going to test it this afternoon so that I can tape it this, you know, for tomorrow's run. But holy crap, like this is not ideal. Like I'm, I'm nervous. I'm, I'm running a state of case tomorrow. And my training's been all over the shop for the past couple weeks. <sighs> and I've got a fucked rib. So yeah. That's my little update. I am going to head to work now. Otherwise, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm in a pretty good mood. Although, the coffee I got this morning was not very nice. Which is really disappointing because, like, they're normally pretty good where I get it from on a Saturday morning. Let's go to work and I'll see you guys a little bit later for an afternoon of chores. <laughs> Alright, I've finished work and I've just popped by the shops and now I've just got back home. Don't mind the lighting. I'm obviously sitting in my car and it's quite dark in my garage. Work was really good this morning. It was quite chill, which was nice. This afternoon, basically, I'm just going to be doing chores with my partner. I'm so hungry. We're going to eat lunch and then we're going to do some chores. And then we're going to our tennis club tonight just for a quick, like, little drinks and dinner thing, um, just to farewell some, like, long-standing friends that are leaving and moving overseas. But it's actually going to be a really quiet day, so I don't think I'm going to film anything. But I'm going to pick you guys up tomorrow for the, the big 30k run. So I'm going to see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. <laughs> I've got you propped up in my pantry, like one of my pantry cupboards right now. And I'm trying to keep my voice low as my partner has hopefully gone back to sleep after getting up to tape my ribs. So it is Sunday morning. I am meant to be heading out to do my 30k long run. In fact, I, I am heading out to do my 30k long run. Gosh, that makes it sound like I'm not going to do it. I am going to do it. But there's been a little change of plans. So I'd actually mapped out a longer route in the city to do last night, knowing that my normal route just wouldn't be long enough for 30Ks. But I'm not in good condition still. Like, I'm, I'm okay. I can do the run, but my ribs are still really sore. Like, the muscle in my ribs is still very sore. I still have the lingering cough. Like, it's not bad, but it's she lingering. And I've woken up, and it is piercing down with rain outside. And part of me was like, I think I should just grit my teeth and do it because there's a very good chance that when going to London that it will be pouring with rain on the day there as well at least it did last year for the marathon but then I'm also like I really don't want to spend probably over four hours today wet and risk any like additional chafing or injury or getting sicker so I've made the call <laughs> I texted my coach in a panic but I've made the call because he hasn't responded to just do it on the treadmill, which is not ideal, but I think, I think I've just got to play it kind of smart and also it will give me the best chance of getting the 30Ks done uninterrupted because like if it buckets down or it hails or something, like I just, I really need to get this run done. And there's a little bit of comfort and safety knowing that I'll be around the corner at the local gym where there's a bathroom and I'll be indoors and I'll have access to water and a toilet, which I know I won't have on the day, but just while I'm not, 100% and the marathon's only like we are four weeks out today, which is crazy But yeah, I just I think that's what I'm gonna do and part of me feels weirdly guilty about that Like I feel like I'm copping out in some way, but I just think it's the smarter option at this point So I mean it's been one, nice in one way I'm so freaking tired because I've been up since 4 a.m. And the plan was to sort of leave by about quarter to five, but it's now It's now six o'clock in the morning So it's giving me time to actually get up make a cup of tea I had some food and gives me time to digest food because one thing that I actually learned from my last check-in with my coach is that really I should be having longer to digest food but I haven't been having that because when I do my long runs on a Sunday because it's been so hot and humid 
I've essentially been getting up at the crack of dawn, as you guys have seen, eating and just going. I haven't really been giving myself a few hours to let the food digest. So it has been nice <laughs> giving myself an hour to eat something and then let it digest. I'm gonna see if I can do a cheeky number two before I get to the gym. So if I'm able to, I'll go to the toilet and actually prep myself properly, which I'm hoping I'll be able to do on the day before I get to the gym. If not, I'll sort myself for the gym. But anyway, yeah, so the gym opens at 6.30. If I get started by like quarter to seven, I should be done hopefully before lunch and home quicker to be able to just jump in a shower and wash myself off. It's not going to be the run that I thought it was going to be, but I really want to get this 30k done. I'm actually going to test out some shoes that I bought ages ago. I, I think I mentioned it on the YouTube ages and ages ago because I bought these performance, like, quote-unquote fast shoes last year, which was silly because I was like, I need new shoes, and then I bought those ones, and I was like, really? I can't wear these close to, like, till closer to the race day. So anyway, we are now officially, I think, closer to the race day that I should definitely test out these shoes if I'm going to wear them for race day. So yeah, I'm going to test out these shoes and take all my water and the snacks and pretty much everything. I'm not going to wear the vest because I think I'd look, I think people would give me weird looks if I wore the vest while I'm on treadmill. But I'm basically going to do everything that I normally do if I was running outside in terms of the structure of how I'll fuel and things like that. <sighs> 30 Ks. Anyway guys, I will keep you posted probably when I'm at the gym. Cheers. the new shoes. All right guys, I am 14 Ks in. I'm gonna give myself a little walking rest at 15. It's going well. I'm glad I picked indoors. That's the weather's still shit outside. I'm gonna fill you guys in on how I've been properly going. Now I've been managing later, but look at the sweat. Everybody, oh, 30Ks, oh, 30Ks done and dusted on the treadmill. I feel really like emotional after it. It was hard and it wasn't the best run. Like I'm really like, don't get me wrong. I'm proud that I've done it, but overall it wasn't the best run. A few issues to talk about. Obviously it's going to be difficult doing it on a treadmill. Like <laughs> mentally it just, you just get fucking bored. I start off just watching like Grey's Anatomy on my phone for like the first hour and a half two hours maybe i was there for like five hours and not all of that was running but anyway i'll, I'll get into that so i started off watching gray's anatomy and then i was like i'm bored like this is boring i love gray's anatomy but i'm like i'm bored and so i switched to a podcast and i listened to the not so fit couple podcast and that got me through to about eight no what did i do maybe i played music after the yeah, I think I played Grey's and then I played some music to get me hyped up because I remember that was around the 15k mark that I was like, you know what, I think I need a little pick-me-up and I played some bangers and that, I yeah, I felt so good after that. I was like, yes, let's go. And then after that, I switched to a podcast and I was like, let's keep on the podcast now until I feel like I need a little pick-me-up and then we'll flick back to music. And now I've come back because I don't I didn't have a proper playlist prepared which is I know is kind of weird but I often don't listen to music when I run I often am more like a podcast girly but I think today just kind of reminded me that like if I have a mental like in on the day and I need to pick me up I think music's gonna be the way to do it so now I'm gonna go and make a marathon music playlist for myself that I know that I'll enjoy and it'll be like a big hype for me and I look like an absolute nutcase but when I tell you I was not singing, but like mouthing the words, like, woo. I don't know if I filmed myself doing that. I definitely did for like a TikTok. <laughs> but yeah, I had, I was just like vibing the music and that really helped me. The one thing I want to say is, which I'm really nervous about, 
is I had to stop to go to the toilet about four times. All of those times together, it takes a real chunk of time out of my out of my time really. So my running distance, my running time was slow and a bit slower than I'd like, but with all all things considered, considering I haven't been well, considering that I've got a fucking pulled muscle right now, it's not the end of the world. I think my time was 9.13. So very slow, but like it didn't feel slow in a way because what was happening is I'd run my normal pace between like an 8.15 to like an 8.45 and then I'd stop every like few kilometers and walk and eat and then go to the toilet so it didn't feel that slow but yeah those odd kilometers where I had to stop and I had a little walking break and things like that really slowed down my overall pace and then my actual time in the gym was so much longer like as I said I was there for over five hours and that's because I had to keep stopping to go to the toilet and each time would have been at least a couple minutes like at least a couple minutes I think the first time was like anywhere between five and ten like it just took a lot of time so we're gonna try some stuff next week because that needs to be fixed i think i don't i don't want to lose half an hour of like actual race time to going to the toilet which would really suck you because yes runners gets a thing but i really think my problems stem from the fact that having bowel and dough and having like having had a bowel, like an intensive bowel surgery, I think my bowel's just never been the same again, which I'm sure I've said on here before. That's the only like dampener. I feel like a little bit disappointed with that aspect of it. But anyway, 30 kilometers regardless, I think is fucking crazy. And I'm so happy I got it done when I was leaving the, the girlie at the front desk and all the girlies at my gym are just lovely. Um, but the girlie at the front desk was like, holy crap, like, you just didn't stop. Like I kept looking over and you're still going. So it was nice to just, yeah, I don't know. It was very, it's got me fucking dropping my phone. It's just really sweet. In a way it's support. And yeah, that just kind of makes a difference. And I know that's something I'm really looking forward to on the day. Cause I know that there'll be such a good atmosphere. That's one thing I think that sucked today, but obviously it was doing it fucking inside of the treadmill, but like getting that when I left and then knowing that that won't be an issue on the day makes me feel heaps better. I did warm up stretches, which I think felt fine. Like that went well. Um, my cool down stretches <laughs> kind of just collapsed. I did a few, but I feel like I'm going to be fucking sore. But anyway, plan for the afternoon is I'm going to get a coffee. I've just come to the shops and I don't even really need one. I just, I don't know. I feel like a little like emotional. Yeah, I just feel emotional. I don't know. And so like coffee, coffee will make things better. And then I'm going to go home and shower, obviously. Like literally the sweat, like this white top has gone fucking see through. I don't know if you can see that in the light, but <laughs> and I smell <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> I'm going to get a coffee. Mm, fucking lost it. I'm going to get a coffee, shower. And then I think my partner and I are probably going to go to the pub and have kind of like a late lunch. It's just like, wow. Like, it's just like feeling a lot of feelings after that, that I obviously can't explain very well. About 30 kilometers done. <laughs> oh, hi guys, sorry, I'm trying to find somewhere to put my camera. How are we doing? Um, it is actually Monday morning, so I didn't end up picking up the camera. Oh, God, what is happening? Focus, please. Okay, I'm gonna hold you. So I didn't end up filming much yesterday afternoon as I was really fucking exhausted from the run, obviously. I did pick you up at the pub just to be like, pub, but then I didn't even bother filming when the food came out because we pretty much just smashed it. I had a schnitty and chips and gravy and salad. It was amazing, just what you want after a run. And then I came home and I read my book for about half an hour and then I fell asleep for two hours. And then me and my partner just had a really chill evening. And then the last night I slept for 11 hours and 30 minutes to give you an idea of how exhausted I was. But anyway, I wanted to wrap up the vlog properly and just say thank you guys so much for watching another week. A reminder that I am raising money for Endometriosis Australia. I'm gonna leave the link in the description box below if you'd like to donate, which I would absolutely love if you did. And yeah, a reminder to hit the subscribe button, like the video if you enjoyed it. We do all the things together here and I'll catch you in the next video.